Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline reporter Ready, tonight gentlemen? is Doris Ready? Burke. Looking at the last game for the Cleveland Cavaliers, it was a win against Philadelphia. And Kevin, you know, they showed how important it is to have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the road, that depth is vital. I think they really utilized the second unit to extend their offensive assault and just really wore down their opponent. And guys, I think what you saw from them throughout the game was teamwork. This is a team. Regardless of who was out there on the floor at any given time, they got it done. And that has to make you feel good as a group. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So on the floor for Cleveland. Down low, it's Love and Mozgov. J.R. Smith and LeBron at the two and three. And it's Williams at the one spot. And Charlotte's defense, it didn't really start out incredible last season. But, but over the course of the year, they climbed the ranks. And, and by the end of the year, they were a force. From 12 feet out. And the shot no good. A bit short. Here's Smith. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's what we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And Williams, here we go. Osgov with the bucket. And Clark, you don't think of too many of the Hornets' as lockdown defenders, MKG being the big one, but they defended well over the entire season. And for them, Kevin, rim protection was a big factor. They were a top five team in the league in forcing missed shots at their own basket. Certainly not the dream start they were hoping for, going one for four early. And the dunk by LeBron. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Charlotte has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Screen by Jefferson. Walker against Williams. Just five to shoot. From 13, shots good by Walker. Walker's got his first points in this one. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. They retain possession. In the corner, it's James. He kicks it to Mozgov. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. And it's Walker penetrating. Jefferson passing to Batum. Jefferson inside. He's against Williams. And that is good. And it's a tie ball game. And, and, and Steve Clifford might not be the most famous coach in the NBA, but he has plenty of experience. And everyone in the league knows exactly how well versed he is as a coach. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Jefferson is green on Williams. And Walker gets to Jefferson. You know, he might be small for a center, but it doesn't really matter because he can jump out of the building. Passes it to Mozgov. In the corner, Smith with it. Misses off the right iron. You're not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. And it goes on the ground. That one is off Smith. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Anderson Derejao's checked in for Mozgov. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Smith. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Mo Williams. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. All right, Charlotte, now we're in the court for your viewing entertainment. The Hornets Phoenix team, make some noise!
score now for Charlotte. Charlotte trailing. Cavs were poised to make a huge run last year in the playoffs. Swept the Celtics in the first round, but it cost them. Yeah, even though they did get that sweep, they lose Kevin Love for the rest of the way, and that put a big hurdle in their quest for the title. Lynn kicks to Roberts, and the Hornets miss again. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Outside, Lynn. Over in the corner, Lamb. A basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lamb's got his first three points of the game. No denying that injuries were a big part of the storyline in the Cavs postseason. Fortunately, LeBron James was otherworldly after the first round. Took care of the Bulls, then went on to sweep the Hawks to get back to the finals. Jefferson with the double team. Williams' shot is off. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that move the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. And for the Cavs last season, their toughest test would be in the finals against the Warriors. Like every other team, they just couldn't handle the Warriors for a full series. A great run to the finals, and surely they'll want to return there this season. Shot clock at three. Roberts. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. That's a two from Della Vidova. Tie game here in Charlotte. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? Really, it's always a positive when you can get some impact off your bench. Always nice to have firepower coming from the reserves. And they've had firepower and then some so far. Kaminsky out there with Jefferson. Then there's Hairston. Then there's Batum. And it's Walker in a point. So that's the Hornets five. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. And Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist from Delavidova. Love's got five points so far. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Clearly, they've been the aggressors thus far when it comes to attacking the interior in this first half. And guys, the first year for David Glad, he was second-guessed at every turn. And that happens when you are picked to make the finals, but also when you coach LeBron James. Walker throws in. He dishes it to Jefferson. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Man, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Moskov, he's checked in for Anderson Verja. The Cavaliers trail by four. Williams dishes to Delavido. Smith kicks to Long. It's stolen by Kaminsky. And here's the fast break. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the night. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. That free throw good from Al Jefferson. Both free throws good from Al Jefferson. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. It's Williams with the drive. Soft touch off the glass. Williams has got his first two points. And for Black, Greg, everyone did wonder if he would be the right fit early. As the season wore on and the Cavs got tougher, those questions, Clark, went away. Yeah, and I think most people forget that he's an iconic coaching legend overseas. Point, I mean, yeah. so coaching is coaching. Sure, it's not the NBA, but this guy brought a pedigree and resume that was quite substantial. And Charlotte had a lot of momentum going into 
last season off that playoff appearance. But they just stumbled out of the gates last season and spent the whole year playing catch-up. And the foul called on P.J. Hairston. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Love, no good. And for the Hornets, they seem to get back on track last January, but they faded Clark quickly after that and were too far behind to, to make up room and get in the playoffs. And, you know, they had a rash of injuries, Kevin, and that really did them in. All in all, it was a season that just didn't have any traction for them because of the injuries. In that one spot the Cavs did struggle with last year with was help off the bench. They were last in the league in bench scoring. Cavs not scoring with a lot of their bench. A big part of that is they just didn't uh, go to their bench very often. Well, you talk about the Cavs and the bench near the bottom in total bench minutes played. The bench didn't have a lot of firepower, didn't shoot the ball well, and considering they got limited minutes, oftentimes struggled to find any kind of rhythm out there. Hairston with the steal. And here comes Walker leading the fast break. And Jalen Smith picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Jefferson's checked in for Cleveland. Outside, Walker. To the paint. The jump hook hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Now it's a seven-point Hornets lead. Here's Delavido, guarded by Walker. James, the pass to Mozgov. It's stolen by Kaminsky. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Walker's running. Here's Jefferson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got three assists tonight. And let's get your take, guys, in the hustle stats. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. And one problem with the Cavs last season was they put immediate pressure on themselves. A part of that was the trade for Kevin Love. Charlotte calls timeout. As you said, the Cavs put a lot of pressure on themselves because of the trade. You could see it affect the way they came out of the gate. And you know, it was just night and day, Kevin, when the Cavs began to relax and click. I mean, a total transformation and turnaround. They would go 19 and 20 in the first 39 games and then 34 and 9 over the rest of the season once those guys jailed and got locked in. Here's Jefferson, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. The first one falls. After making it to the playoffs in 2014, the Hornets couldn't repeat the feat in 2015. A slow start probably, Greg, more than anything else did him in. Really disappointing season coming in with such high expectations. 33 and 49, just not good enough to get into the playoffs in any season. You know, for the Hornets, they've not made consecutive playoff appearances since the team moved to New Orleans back in 2002. They just haven't been able to stay consistent enough to make it to the playoffs back-to-back -back years. James kicks to Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. And Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. Now here's Lynn. Outside Williams. Here's Harrison. Five on the clock. Jefferson with some nice D. And sometimes he can hit that D3, but it's not a high percentage shot for him. Yeah, even for him, that's out of his range. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Just four seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Oh, wow, he nails 
the buzzer, Peter! And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Hornets lead by five. 2K Sports, back in a moment here at the Time Warner Cable Arena in Charlotte. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. What can you say? Al Jefferson, an impressive effort here today. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. And we welcome you back to more NBA action. Players looking hydrated and plenty of Gatorade to help them get their job done tonight. What can you say? Al Jefferson, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, how about that first half? He's already scored more points than he averages on the season. Yeah, he's on pace for a monster game. It's too bad he can't score like this every night. Checking out the group for David Black to start the second half. LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. Smith is out there with Williams. And it's Mozgov in at the five spot. Williams dishes to Lynn. Lamb with the ball. Williams picks him up. Knock it forward. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Walker. Five to shoot. Kaminsky sets the pick for Walker. Shoots off the screen. That's good. And the Hornets lead by five. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jumper? And look at Al Jefferson. He's really been playing well. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they got to figure out how to contain him. The Cavaliers trail by five. A big dip in performance here for the Hornets last year. In 2014, they were very tough to beat at home, and that was not the case in 2015. Yeah, I mean, they struggled to string together those defensive runs at home. And in the end, that led to their less than stellar run. The feet to Hairston. The kick out to Walker. Pass to Kaminsky. No good off the back of the rim. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Hornets leading by five. Walker with it. Williams picks him up. Outside for Batum. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That one on Mozgov. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something, you're right, extra on it. Man, I, I got to pick my jaw up off the floor after that one now. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And finish off by Hairston. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. <laughs> guys, this one is threatening to get really ugly. Now here's LeBron for three. Love. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Williams with the steal. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. And he gets it to go. Yes. Smith's got five now. Well, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense just like that. And Clark, the best way to get that early offense is with steals. That allows you to get out in transition. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Anderson Berejaus checked in for Mozgov. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Jefferson in for Smith. Richardson Jefferson. And the Hornets call time here. 
This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this season. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Della Vidova's checked in. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Dishes it to Kaminsky. He feeds it to Hairston. Just four to shoot. Cleveland with a very strong year last year. They were a very solid team on the road as most LeBron led teams on. Yeah, he's a special guy oh, in terms goodness. of how he can elevate other players. Um, didn't start out hot on the road, but eventually got it together and ended up 22 and 19 away from home. And he's good on the second. And back to the Cavs and their road play. Teams with a lot of new players coming in can struggle early. It's especially evident when playing on the road. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And here are the Cavaliers now. They trail by six. Jefferson attacking. And Walker kicks to Jefferson. There's the killer two-handed slam. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. You talk about being streaky on the road. That's what the Cavs were. I mean, could rattle off four wins on the road in a row, then come back empty from their next road trip. They did seem, though, to get stronger and more steady as the season went on. Good. A nice job again. That time to add to their lead. They're doing everything right at the moment. Greg, you're exactly oh. Forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Let's take it to the hoop, my friend. Oh. Take it to the hoop. And how, Clark. Brilliant throwdown. Just exerting his authority on that play. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. For Charlotte, they have shot six or seven at the line. The first free throw is good. Hairston hits both of them. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Charlotte oh. takes possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. And here are the Hornets now. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. I love the anticipation defensively there to get into the perfect spot. And they're able to recover. And another miss by Cleveland. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Stolen by Verizon. They're running. Ball going up court. Got it. Nice one there from Delavidova. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big... Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's Charlotte leading by 10. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And the final period of play just about to start. And here are the Cavaliers now. It's a 10-point game. Next step for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That'll be the first of four played at home for them. We've got Williams. Jeremy Lin is out there with Brian Roberts. Then there's Spencer Hawes. And it's Lamb at the three slot. So that's the Hornets five. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense, as was displayed right there. 
And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And, Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that mm -hmm. lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. Shot by Roberts, no good. But that would have been lucky had it fallen poor shot selection. Yeah, look at the coach's face and the expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? Oh, and here comes Smith all alone. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Yes. Williams has got five assists in the game. How about the quick hands on the steal and the quick feet on the break? Yeah, a careless, silly mistake there, though. I mean, coughing the ball up and then not being quick enough to get back on defense, that's costly. The Cavaliers trail by eight. The drive by Smith. And he jams it with authority. Yes. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. Osgov with the steal. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. Williams shot is off. And J.R. Smith picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Williams again. Slend. Down low. And he dunks it after the pick. Frees him up. And, and tired legs affect you at the defensive end first. And that's what we're seeing here. You called it, Greg. As much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Williams for three. Williams missing again. Hornets leading by eight. Here's Roberts. No good off the front iron. Now Cleveland moving it up. Shot is off. Williams with the defensive effort. Hornets have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Then the pass to Williams. And Lamb with the basket on the assist from Marvin Williams. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, over the break, I listened in on David Blatt's huddle. He told them that they simply have to step up, saying if we don't make a move now, it's going to be too late. Give them everything you've got. Kevin? And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Charlotte? Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've worked hard to get the ball into the low post tonight as well, and it's paid off. So a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Good on the first, and that will put them up by nine. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Or Cleveland, they've gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Here's Mozgov. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop-chop there with that one-hand tomahawk slam? And the basket by Kaminsky. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And, Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. First free throw is good. Going to the line. DJ Harrison. Harrison hits both of them. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Smith for three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Delavid over. 16 points for Smith. No matter what the score is, his attitude has been perfect. I love his disposition. He has stayed in attack mode. 
Jefferson kicks to Walker. Doubled by Smith. Shot clock at six. No good from Hairston. You don't want your best shooter heaving up that shot. Exactly. Even the top three point specialist in the league would probably catch heat for taking that shot. And it's Delvidova missing. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, it seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Anderson Verizhaus checked in for Mazda. Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. Jefferson's checked in for LeBron. And Harris subbed in for Smith. A slight hiccup at the line, but he did what he needed to to finish this game off. So the first one drops, and that brings them within single digits. And both free throws good for Jefferson. So it's the Hornets now. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. From D, Walker. Good. And the Hornets lead by 11. And they feel good about this win tonight, guys. Defending their home court. I agree. Job well done. They gave these fans exactly what they wanted. And Batum kicks to Walker. And so it's Charlotte with the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. Well, you know it makes a big difference. I mean, you never felt like they had any doubts that they'd come out on top. And that'll wrap it up, folks, for Clark, Craig, and Doris, and the rest of our terrific crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now we'll head over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson, who's not too far away. E.J.?